Attention! If you are here for our 1,000 subscriber giveaway, do not skip forward because we are about to go over the rules to win. A few uh, provisos, a, a couple of quid pro quo. Rule number one. Rule number one. Each prize has an individual question you must answer in the comments to enter the giveaway. You can use one big comment for each answer or you can answer each one individually. It doesn't matter. Your answer will be read thoroughly and we will be picking winners based on our favorite answers. So be thoughtful with each one of them and don't leave just a one word answer. Rule number two. Rule number two, questions are scattered throughout the video. You do not have to watch the entire video. We have chapters in the description below allowing you to be able to skip to each question without watching the entire video. We would love for you to watch the whole video if you have the time, but we know that's not realistic. Time is a super valuable resource. Thank you for choosing to spend some of it with us. Rule number three, you must be subscribed to our channel to win. If selected, we will reach out to you. So please, if you don't check your YouTube notifications, leave your Twitter or Instagram handle in your comment and we'll reach out to you there as well. Good luck everybody, we'll see you on the other side. Welcome back to another episode of Southern Sorcery. This is the most exciting one ever because we hit a thousand subscribers. Let's go! Oh yeah! Oh. <laughs> yes, also, as you can see, we get uh, Daniel and I both in one video. It's the first time in a long time, and it's the first time we've ever done a video like this together. We've only done an interview before, so this is a cool experience. I'm in Tennessee, you're in Georgia. It took us two hours to figure it out, and we made it! Technology. <laughs> It'll get you. So, uh, without further ado, this is going to be our, our main video that we've been talking about for a week now. I'm sure you've seen the posts on Twitter, on Instagram, on YouTube. You know, we've been so happy and proud to hit a thousand videos. First of all, I just want to say thank you to everyone who got us here. This is not going yes, unnoticed. Yes, yes. Thank uh, you, thank you, thank you yes, so, so much for so all much. the support. Yes. Um, and so we've got a lot of stuff to give away. We've seen all the giveaways. Um, so much stuff. Yes. So there's going to be some questions. If you're around for our 100 subscriber giveaway, it's going to be very similar to that. But obviously this is way bigger. 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 Because 1,000, 100. Well, what's a bigger number? Yep. 1,000, right? So we had ten to go times, big. 10 times go. better. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> had to go big. All right. Yeah. So without now that's the, <laughs> we won't keep exponentially making it bigger. We'll be completely <laughs> broke if we kept it. Yeah. 10,000. Yeah. We're giving away giving a away, car. We're giving away uh, <laughs> A sealed box of alpha that we found. It's a one of one. <laughs> so, what Sorry. we're going to do is we're going to go through this video. We're going to open up a box of Zendikar Rising. We all know this is probably the grand prize. Everyone wants this entire box. One lucky subscriber yeah. is going to win all of this stuff right here. That includes the box topper, which hopefully is a nice, fancy fetch land. So, yeah, let's just dive into it. I hope everybody's doing well. Look at this little handy dandy uh, box topper. Like, uh, it's a seat belt. Yeah. <laughs> the box topper is, seat belt. Which is fair because some of the sets that had box toppers, like they ended up like kind of down here and they would get bent. Sure, Man, yeah. This one is, uh, oh, is that would be the worst. Yeah, this is perfect. So we're just going to set this aside. This is probably the last thing we open. Uh, and then Sweet. we're going to start off and open some packs. So the big hits are lands, a lot of lands, pathways, and then the, uh, what are they, like MFC, or not MFC, like sorcery on one side, land on the back side. Mobile lands, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, for guys, Indicar always does a good job with their full art lands. Very nice. Nice, right, yes. there's a Tabarax, Hoops Demise. It's our first rare. Excellent. I uh, won't spend a ton of time just for video time. Like you haven't seen me here lately, I'll just, you know, go through these slow at first and we'll just fly through them but the artwork is in the car it's always nice um it's, it's worth it's worth looking at it. i mean look at this giant frog it's beautiful mm. <laughs> he looks so happy deliberate and shepherd of heroes yeah 36 packs is quite a quite a ways to go it really is yeah, it adds up copy token planes there's our first foil a simple strike very pretty. Hey, nice Valakul uh, exploration and a Malakar rebirth. That's one of the more expensive. Uh, oh yeah, yeah it yeah. is Malakar rebirth. Yeah, that's the so yeah. We'll both of those aside. It's a good one. Yeah. Only Rikro Skyclave Geopede. It's a gigantic centipede in the lava, which is terrifying. And a Risen Riptide Territorial Scythe Cat. Thank you, cat. Ooh. Meow. Meow. Anybody get lucky enough to get their hands on the? Uh, Raining cats and dogs pre-con. Man, that sold out so fast. I heard it sold out in like minutes. It, yeah, it was. It was not long. I, I don't know if it was minutes, but it certainly wasn't hours. Yeah, Leyland Tyrant. It's a really good yeah. mythic. It's a really good dragon. A lot of people play this card. Um, 
really cool thing about this. Oh, yeah. Is you Hold your mana. Yep, you don't lose unspent red mana as steps and phases in. And when it dies, you may pay any amount of red. When you do, it deals that much damage to your target. So if you've been holding up all that red mana, when it dies, you <laughs> oh, snap. Like, Boom, you're dead. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, Axolition. Let's see, there's Grawtog, Night Runner, Goblin Rogue, Subtle Strike. I don't think there's any commons that I remember. Oh, there's the, the alt art in this set. That's yeah, beautiful. Oh, yeah. With the frames. It has like the, yeah, very uh, cool. the spires. Like the, the, the spires uh -huh. in the car. Uh, Expedition Champion and a Cascade Seer. Nice. All right. Pack number four. And then we'll get into one of our first questions of the day for our first contest giveaway. Maddening Cacophony. I love the artwork on this. It's just got Jace just like, make it stop. <laughs> <laughs> Balagad Recovery, another really nice uncommon. Yeah, there you go. That's a great one. Yeah. yeah. That's uh, super playable. She's yeah. a lot of play. Feed the uh, Swarm. Here's the, the uncommon. Ah, thing. there you go. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Uh -huh. it. Super yeah. playable again. Yeah. A utility knife, a McKinley ox, just a just a beautiful ox. A royal eruption and into the royal. Alright, we'll pack more here and we'll get into it. Man, I'm excited to give some of this stuff away. There's a foil Man, rare. me too. Throne of go. McKinley. I don't think it's worth much, but it's a it's a pretty foil rare land. So and a Kazandu Mammoth. That's a Kazandu Valley. Wolfolk Falconeer. Vanquish the Weak. Yeah, I think that's really the biggest combo we would want to see is Feed the Swarm. Alright. Good deal. Time for our first question. Daniel, if you want to do this one. Um... Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So the first prize we're giving away is the Lord of the Rings starter deck. Uh, it has the two 60-card pre-assembled standard style decks. For you and a, one, you know, and a friend, you can both just crack it open and start playing. It has some little deck boxes in there. We're going to send you some sleeves as well. And so for this one, we just want to know who is your favorite Lord of the Rings character? and why they are your favorite Lord of the Rings character. Shane, who's your favorite Lord of the Rings character? Man, it's got to be... Such a hard choice. It is such a hard choice. I'm a Sam guy, you know? It's yeah. Just, just the heartless, you know, it's just... He's just kind of the hero of the whole story, really, when you think about, like... Yeah, he know, like, he really is. I mean, Fro you know, Frodo definitely starts to struggle, and uh, and Sam is just Sam the whole friggin', the whole yeah. friggin time. Literally. He's yeah. just there. Just the same yeah. Sam from, like, day... I mean, like, he... Start to finish. Yeah, he gets like more courageous, but like to to his core, sure. he's still the same Sam. He's yeah, he's yeah, yeah he never wavers. Yeah, what Great about character. you? What about you? I kind of I struggle with that as well. If I ha if I had to pick one, I would say Legolas, just because he's just such a Legolas. Man. He's badass, the the the, the the movie Legolas <laughs> is such a badass. I mean, the book is too. Uh, he's just so even keel, just like, like very calm, cool, collected. Um, and in the books, he's not quite as much like that. He's a little more prone to like emotional show. What yeah. do we got? Oh, let's do uh, alt art. Just wanted to show that. I like the alt art. Yeah, it's, it's just so good. Uh, the rare was the uh, Craig Platt Bailoff. Uh, spell can't be countered. Hexproof and haste. If it was kicked, and there's a battlefield with four plus one plus one counters on it. Makes it a ten ten with uh, haste and hexproof. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, pretty good. It's fun stuff. Yeah, I agree with you, man. Legolas, he was definitely overpowered. You know, he was just. Killing enemies like he's just a sniper, just essentially. Bullseye. Yeah. Bullseye. I did not Man, miss. I could talk about Lord of the Rings forever. Yeah, I don't blame you. It's good stuff. There's a nice foil, a Jwari Disruption. Counter target spell unless it's controller pays one. Or you can flip it into a land. Then your battlefield yeah. taps and taps for blue. I love those. And then we've got a legendary creature, Aura Skyclave Hero Font. Ah. He has lifelink, he's a 3 3, and he's cleric. I like it. The core clerics. The core people are kind of the the main, like, I guess, natural habitants of Zendikar. Okay. Uh, they have that, like, grayish tint to them. Uh, Nahiri, she's core. The planes are Okay. Nahiri, yeah. So, yeah. So that's, that's, that's who. And then, like, Nissa, she's from Zendikar as well. A lot of cool, a lot of cool story and lore behind Zendikar. I like the, the, the plane a lot. Actually, I think some of the first planeswalkers ever came from the first Zendikar set. Got a magmatic channeler. And a Pelica Predation. And then we've got that utility knife. You gotta have that utility knife. You're gonna be climbing all these mountains. Yeah, that's. Yeah. <laughs> Never leave home without that Swiss Army knife. That's right. And here's another Harry's Binding. This is when they still did the story spotlights. So I don't know if you can see that on the bottom of the card. This was uh, Nahiri and Jace <laughs> kind of having their indifferences about um, what was going on. I can't remember the exact story there, but it was pretty cool. Oh, man. Lord of the Rings. That was one of the, I think. 
uh, I've talked about this in a previous yeah, a video. highlight. Yeah. <laughs> Coveted prize. I think Azul's Fury, a rune crab. One of the channels I watch anytime they pulled the uh, rune crabs when they were opening up this set, they would always have a dancing crab come on. It's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I can track that down. Yeah. Throw it on there. Yeah. Shout out, ding, ding, ding. Shout out MTG North. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Mountain Expedition Champion. Oh, nice. Here's one of our first pathways, and it is a full art one. This is the Needle Birch Ooh, pathway that very nice. into the white, which is the Pillar Birch pathway. Full cool little art. Easter egg on the artwork for these. I don't know if you can see it, but right there, climbing the mountain uh -huh. is a guy, and he's on. He's in all of the artworks. You can spot him. Like, if you see right oh, here. Oh, how funny. When he gets to the cave, he's here. So all the pathways ah, yes, I see. had that person, Male, female, not sure, but yeah, they're they're all in that art. I love how they did that. It was really cool. Little guy, my little guy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, last two packs. We can do another uh, another giveaway. Exciting stuff. We'll give the people what they want. Confounding conundrum. A tangled lorahedron. That's what they're called. The hedrons. Those floating like rocks that look like uh, diamonds. The form blight. Skyclay pickaxe. And just a bunch of commons and uncommons. Nice. Last pack here of this row. You have the pull tabs. Sometimes the pull tabs don't work exactly as planned. I don't love the pull tabs. Like, if you pull them too hard, you could damage the cards. I like know. It, it just, like gets to the top of there's them. No, yeah. there's, Gosh, I love this mountain. No yeah, that. they are yeah. nice. Yeah, those full art lands. Full art lands over other lands all the time, except for the retro, like, foil lands. The retro yeah. foils are super nice. Agreed. And here we've got Akiri, Fearless Voyager. This is one of the core people I was talking about. You can kind of see they have like a, a pale skin. That, they all look like Nahiri, essentially. Like, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. Moss Pit Skeleton. Like they've just got no color. They don't. Yeah, they're all very pale. Which is odd because they're outside non-stop. Like they're in, and they're up yeah. high. Like, it, they would be like sunburnt. <laughs> yeah. Just an advantage, I guess, of being like pasty. Instead, they're just like vampire victims that have been drained of their blood. Yes, exactly. All right, time for question number two. Number two. Yeah, this one is for the Challenger decks. Uh, this one is a big one if you, your playgroup, ever wanted to decide to like play some standard and branch out into a different game. These Challenger decks, there's four of them. They all are pre-made standard decks. Um, they're probably all out of rotation by now, as old as they are. They came out in 2021. Uh, they but not are. To say you can't just play, you know. A around your table with them just to kind of learn the definitely yeah. especially if you've only really been exposed to commander this is a great way to kind of play around with 1v1 and see if it's something you enjoy if you've never done it it definitely plays different you know the strategy is a lot different you can have multiples of cards there's a whole lot uh happening in that format that is drastically different from commander so if you started out early you probably only played that until commander came along but if you only started playing in the last five plus ish years years you may have only ever played commander so this is a great way yep. to potentially uh see if that's something for you and at the end of the day if you want to you can take these decks and part them out and there's a lot of good stuff in there that'll slide right into a commander deck one of them has rankle as a matter of fact one of my favorite cards to play in commander i love it um but the question for this one is where is your favorite place to play magic so this could be at home, this could be at your LGS, this could be at a con, this could be at you know, your friend's house. Let me know. There's all kinds of cool places to play. We, we just Arena. Play. Yeah, Ricky lots Online. of places. Yeah, absolutely. So, Spell um, table. Yeah. yeah. My personal favorite place to play is around the kitchen table. I love getting a bunch of people together at the house, whether it's my house or my sure. friend's house. Get some snacks, some drinks, play some magic, hang out, have a good time. And then probably close second would be the LGS. Because there's more people, more friends, more like-minded people that yeah. are just all hanging out, having a good time. Yeah, definitely. We just did a little cabin getaway with a bunch of guys, and that was a blast, yeah. too. So that's still had that around the kitchen table vibe, but it was just like dedicated magic space away from your distractions and your normal day-to-day -day life. And that was yeah. awesome. Which I, I think a con would probably have you know, similar similar feel too. It does, yeah. Ooh, got a nice card here. Got a very, very pretty full art foil Lotus Ooh. Cobra. One of the more famous very landfall cool. cards. Landfall. Yep. Anytime a land enters the battlefield while Lotus Cobra is out, it has a landfall trigger that says when a land enters the battlefield under your control, add one mana of any color. Great card. Oh. Fits yeah. In any landfall deck. Oh, nice. And yeah, the Morog Fury of Akun. Ah. This is a great a good card. card. It has seen, yeah. I think, some uh, uptick in value. This one gives you extra combat once lands come into play. So, landfall says whenever a land enters the battlefield under control, if it's your main phase or initial combat phase after this phase, at the beginning of, your co of that combat, untap all creatures you control. Fun card. Oh, yeah. That's, I've seen it absolutely that, uh... just take over. 
Man. Yeah, sure. What a pack to have Morog and the Full Art Foil Lotus Cobra. That's two Landfall yeah. cards back to back. Yeah, it's in the car. That's that's one of the things. Uh -huh, that's a thing. Form there the you go. Another one. That's yeah, great. that was a great pack. Yeah, this would have been the pack everyone's wanted to pull with the, the LGS for sure. Let's go ahead and sleep up. <laughs> yeah, uh, for a draft. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah sleep up both of these. Cause Extra like, combat and a draft. Jeez. And a Lotus Cobra. And like an awesome mana mm -hmm. arc. Like a Swamp. Another foil. Master of the Winds. This is a Sphinx Wizard. This looks more human than Sphinx. Normally they have like mm -hmm. more Sphinx like. Well, I guess she has paws. More. <laughs> I mean, she. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say her face doesn't look super cat, but. Yeah. Her nose was a little cat. And then we have an Archpriest of Iona. This had two rares in it, which is unusual for draft packs. That's, I mean, yeah, that's a yeah. good pack. I like it. So, yeah, and then here's some of the uncommons and commons. There's the Utility Knife again, and Into the Royal. Omnath is also, I think, in the set as well. <laughs> yep, that's what I was going to say. I know Omnath was in here. Yeah, here's a fun card. Hit, the hit, <laughs> he's Landfall, too. He is, yeah. Relic oh, Robert. Yeah, Relic Robert. I love it. Uh, whenever it does combat damage to a player, that player creates a 0 1 colors goblin construct artifact creature token. This creature can't block. At the beginning of your upkeep, this creature deals one damage to you. And I love the flavor text. It's just, here, you take it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Hot potato. Yeah, exactly. So goblin. Uh, that's that's my favorite thing. Uh, I love goblins. <laughs> They've always been like that too. Magic has really stuck to their guns. Just like making sure goblins always have that like just kind of like idiotic humor where it's just the janky. Here's a a, a hagra molly. Uh, this spell costs. Oh yeah. To cast Good card. Controls the basic lands. A short target creature. Or you can cast it uh, as the land. It comes in tap taps for a black. Uh, that's a good card. Even the modal the modal cards. I think is what they might be called. I can't remember. But those flip cards, they're they're just super valuable because you need a land early. You got a land, but if you don't need lands late, flip it around. It's it's just good stuff. I really yep. like that concept. There's Nissa's Tazim to Deliberate. There's that Scythe Cat and a Grotog Bug Catcher. It's a Goblin Warrior. Look how big that the, the bug he's trying to catch is just as big as him. All right, next pack we've got Token Full Art Island, the Mina Sky Dancer Foil. Hey, there's Phylath, the World Sculptor. This is the Gruel. Speaking of Gruel, this is the elemental. When it enters the battlefield, create a 0 1 green plant creature token for each basic land you control, and then landfall. Ooh. Whenever a land Ooh. enters the battlefield under your control, put 4 plus 1 plus 1 counters. On top of plant oh, control. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that does way too much. Violeth. Let's go. McKinney Stampede. Thundering Rebuke. Reclaim the Wastes. And a field research. All right. Last pack for the next contest. <laughs> and this is when we get into some of the most sought after things I think we've ever given away. There's a Plains and a Zareth Sand the Trickster. This is a Merfolk Rogue. This, this card sees a lot of play. I don't know if it's necessarily worth anything, but yeah, it's a fun card. It's a fun commander to run. And let's see. we got a Vanquish the Week and a Gate. Classic Counterspell of Magic, and that's it. All right, let's get into question number three, Mr. Daniel. Question number three is, what is your favorite snack to have with you while you're playing Magic? It could be a soda, it could be candy, chips, jerky. What's your go-to? Cookies, cakes, I Little Debbie's? I know Little Debbie is a special treat around these parts. Yeah, I like Little Debbie's. For me, I think it would be anything. I, I you just can't do sticky stuff because I mean, you got cards. Like Oh, around. yeah, for sure. Yeah, so for no, sure. No honey buns, no, uh, no. You know, no no stuff like that. I mean, it's like the, the fear. Like People eating Cheetos, and they're like, let me see that. Card. Oh, like, yeah. Oh, the, the, yeah, yeah. Like, hey, yeah. Oh, pump the brakes, <laughs> pump the brakes. <laughs> Lately, I've been really into pretzels the those uh like really the the, uh, walmart has the ultra thin pretzel salty pretzel sticks and those yeah. are those are fantastic yeah i think for me at a table just give me some like peanut m ms something like uh, or trail mix oh man yeah. so good yeah so good peanut m ms are my jam for this prize this is the first commander kit that you've seen us advertise what we call a commander kit and um complete yeah, but, yeah, commander the, the complete commander kit so this is going to be a pre-con uh this one specifically is the deadly disguise pre-con from murder at Karlov manor uh this will come with a sauron so we can lower the rings and play mat. A nerd gear, basically a command zone tray that we've seen advertised. Sleeves from Dragon Shield. We've got uh, a deck box. Uh, there's so many stuff. We've got a t-shirt. So let us know. Yep. The winner, please let us know what size t-shirt you wear. Um, I'm sure you've seen it advertised. It's the one that we have about the Rhystic Study. Pay the one. Always pay the one. Yeah, a nice cool sticker uh, of me just, you know, screaming at you with a QR code in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And then uh, Playmat Tube. 
to yeah, play uh, hold too. your play mat. Yeah, yeah, so like everything you would need to basically sit down at that table and complete the play commander. Oh, and last but not least, um, tokens from Proxy Forge that are just amazing. Also, with gorgeous, some cool, cool upgrades for the deck specifically. He, uh, yep. Proxy Forge went out of their way to make specific cards that were for each of these precons that just came out recently. Just yep. Amazing. I believe it's eight cards or so, and then maybe some tokens as well. Um, it is a, I know they, he did one for each of the commanders. So like you can run the alt version of the commander um, with their artwork, uh, the proxy artwork. And th if you haven't checked them out, definitely do. It's so good. The art is fantastic and it is the proxy forge. They have tons of great stuff. They've got lots of series, you know, like black staples, white staples, green staples, and then they have the swords, they've got uh, lands, they've got all kinds of really cool sets and all their artworks are really, really cool. They've got some anime stuff too, if that's what you're into, some watercolor stuff. They do great work. And thank you to them for helping sponsor these giveaways. Yeah. Also, huge shout out to Nerd Gear for the uh, the command zone trays. These are trays that he, that he spent a lot of time on, just you know, basically play testing to see like how the flow would be with like a specific tray where you can count uh, life totals, you can count commander cast triggers. Uh, you ha it comes with a, a ring token, so you know who your ring bearer is. Now that's become such a popular mechanic. Got your own individual life counter as well. So, um, and then obviously a slot for your commander to sit, so you can display it. your commander in all of its beautiful glory. So, big shout mm -hmm. out to Nerd. And even if you don't win one from us, he just launched his Kickstarter. Uh, it'll be live by the time this video goes out. You can go get yours there. We'll link in our uh, description, of course. And that one comes with dice as well, custom nerd gear, wind downs, and a D6. They look great. Yeah, they really do. Cool. All right, let's dive back into the box here, see if we can pull some more goodies. All the Skyclaves, it's a fun card, it's equipment. Here's the battlefield, you get to automatically attach it to our creature control, so you get to ignore the equip cost, and then equip creature gets plus two, plus two, flying and first strike, which is always a good thing. And yeah, that's a mouthful. Soaring Thought Thief, this is a human rogue that's coming to steal your thoughts. Rabid Bite and a Cleansing Wildfire. So Zendikar Rising, I would say a fun set financially. Obviously the lands are the biggest hit. You can get what they call the Expedition Lands. Uh, I don't think you get any in these boxes except for the box topper. But the collector boxes, gosh, people are buying those up because you could probably pull about three to four, anywhere from two to four Expedition Lands in them. And it was just, just fun. Just fun to open. We got another pathway. Crack hey, pathway. there we go. Yeah, it's the red green one. So it's a crack crown on one side and a timber crown on the other side. So you can see him in the dead center in the sun. There he is making uh -huh. jump. And then on the other side, a lot easier to spot just chilling on the branch itself. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to point those go. out every time. And a fearless fledgling, which is a griffin. Scale the heights. And here he's binding, chilling trap, and royal eruption. Soul shatter. Uh, two in black. Shatter. Yeah, it's an instant. Each opponent <laughs> sacrifices a creature or planeswalker with the highest convert a mana cost among creatures or and planeswalkers they control it's a fun removal spell because it hits like creatures and planeswalkers uh, it's pretty pretty mechanically uh good to slot into some of the commander decks an ambush blood chief's thirst price prowling felidar the felidar are like the cats of this yep. like felidar retreats another good card yep this set. another landfall specific card <laughs> yep, I run that in almost any in mono mono white deck. Oh yeah, token decks in general love field archery. It's just such a good card. Yeah. Veteran adventurer. Veteran adventurer is also a cleric, rogue, warrior, and wizards. This is a good card for your party deck. This spell costs one less to cast for each creature in your party. Speak of the devil, and it has vision loss. Cool, and it's foil. And then a myriad construct is for the rare with a black moon rogue. A sneaking guide to goblin. That's not who I want as my guide. I don't want a goblin no. letting, letting me know where to go. A swarm shambler, a fungus beast. The fungus is now among us. Yes. <laughs> Every takedown, shadow sting. There's another feed the swarm. Man, that's the third one. I know. Still, yeah. It's, it's a great card. Super playable. Like you can slot it in as like a really good removal yeah. piece. So. It's a spot removal. Yeah, man. Yeah. I mean, I think especially that... in black. I mean, there are obviously better spot removal spells in the game yeah. but uh yeah in black yeah here's a card i know you run i think in your merfolk deck oh yeah absolutely yeah <laughs> such a that's good card. great yeah. uh pay into it take your soul ring yeah i mean it deals artifacts i mean i can take hey, whatever i want I a coom warrior which is a land on one side and a nice minotaur warrior on the other side a fourth of grave 
Might of Morasso, which is that giant frog thing again. Oh yeah, the happy frog. There's a just just nasty looking crocodile. Gouldross oh. Muck Lord. <laughs> the Muck Lord. Muck Lord. <laughs> what a good name. That's know, a fantastic right? name. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Into that deck, I should say. So now it's time for question number four. Ooh, um, this four. is for our second commander kit, complete commander kit. This is for the Revenant uh, Recon. Recon. Um, and this is going to be coming with a demonic tutor playmat. And yep. um, the biggest difference in this this kit is it's going to come with everything else that we just spoke about except for the command zone tray. It's actually going to be from our good friends over at Trying Casually. This is a steel version of it, so it's a little different. It's not yes. uh, 3D printed like the other one is. This one's more of like a steel. It kind of sits flat. Um, and then your yeah, it's uh, it. probably been plasma cut and then like powder coated, uh, like yeah. slash painted on. So it's very heavy duty, but it's still got spots for you to put your spin downs and stuff and basically does the same thing. The only thing it doesn't actually do is hold your commander. Yeah. So it still keeps track of your life and commander damage and um, all of those kinds of other things. Again, you're going to get sleeves, deck box, play mat. Playmat 2, t-shirt, sticker, pre-con deck, proxy forge sleeves. Also want to give a special shout out to some of the sleeves we're going to be giving away. Uh, they're, they're called Shuffle Sleeves, and this is a good friend of ours, friend of the channel, uh, Mark Vickers over at uh, Cardboard Shuffle in Kingsport, Tennessee. It's a TC. My uh, LGS. It's, it's Daniel's LGS, yes. So uh, if you're ever in the area, check him out. He also has uh, some shops on uh, TCGplayer.com. Yes. So if you're looking for cards, he's got a ton of cards to sell. And then, yeah, check out his sleeves. Uh, let us know what you think about them with you get to play with them. Um, he did a lot of due diligence in making sure he picked out you know good sleeves for his specific brand. Who's your favorite commander of all the commanders you played with? I know we've got a lot of commander people that follow us on here. Who's your favorite commander? So many choices. So many, so many really good choices as well. But this could just be like your pet deck or the one you find yourself just really wanting to play or it could just be like the one you just recently built and fell in love with or yes. whatever. Just let us know which one it is and why you love it so much. Uh, late, Shieldred is... People hate Shieldred. Shieldred is my favorite uh, <laughs> legendary creature. <laughs> that being said, I really love the new Akbal from the Caverns of Ixalan. I did the upgrade video for that and just fell in love with it. It's a really fun merfolk deck. It's a little bit different than other merfolk commanders. So that one is just so much fun to play. What about you? You know, my favorite commander of all time is uh, Eladomri. Um, it, Elves. Yeah, a lot of Marie, however you want to say say the name. Yeah, he's a uh, famous character in the game of Magic, but it was the first Commander deck I ever made back in 2011, 2010, around that area when, when, when Commander first came out. And so it's just a deck that I'll never get rid of. As a matter of fact, I've spent a ton of money on foiling most all of it out. Spent a lot of money on some very rare Elves, and so it's just near and dear to my heart. Uh, but Ur Dragon. I love my Earth Dragon deck. Uh, Perforos yeah. has always been near and dear to my heart, you know. So it's very a lot hard. of good ones. A lot of good ones. It, it, it's just hard to pick sometimes, but yeah, I, sure. I probably have to go with my first, my first true love. <laughs> Let us know in the comments who's your favorite commander. Let us know about the deck too. If it's a, a pet deck or it's just something you win a lot. Yeah. With. Yeah, we'd love to hear about it. Yeah. Back to our regular programming. We have a trick card, <laughs> a forest, a crawling barons, and a another feed the swarm. Let's go. Good lord. Yeah. <laughs> there was a time I think they they've settled before they got the reprint. Yeah, sure. They first came out, man. I think they were like three or four dollars for a comic. But I I could see yeah. that, man. Just because it goes in it if you're playing especially mono black, gotta have it. Honestly, yeah. There's an Archon of Ameria. Archons are fun. They're kind of like like a griffin in a way oh yeah like a griffin lion this mm -hmm. one's fun because it's a stacks piece uh if it comes into play oh. each player can't cast more than one spell each turn and non-basic lands your opponent's control enter the battlefield tap so everyone's favorite. oh yeah that's yucky stacks boo. Yeah, boo. <laughs> boo everyone deserves mana <laughs> except for the stacks tip. player <laughs> we'll get it made eventually yeah. living tempest a living storm coming at you description of abundance 
Palika Predation, which is also a land. And then just to see if we get another one. Nope, making sure we didn't get another feed this one. <laughs> <laughs> Number five. Yeah, I know, right? Get a, we got a place set. Yeah, there's a beautiful <laughs> foil, a foil negate. I know you're running a negate. Oh, yeah. Index, so you might as well put this beautiful yeah. foil in it now. Yep, uh, staple. And, and then there is Kaza the Royal Chaser. It looks like they're riding on a, a hoverboard. Yeah, I was going to say some kind of space surfboard I thing. I know, right? This doesn't fit the thing. I, I like it, though. I, I'm here for Very it. Very strange, yeah. but yeah. Yeah, nice. And there's a Velaged Recovery. We talked about that earlier. Another, oh, yeah. Another perfect. Really good uncommon. Yeah, yeah those are super good. You can recur something from your hand, from the graveyard back to your hand, or it comes in as a tapped uh, land that can tap for green. Great card. Spoils of Adventures, Mind Drain. There's the Shell, shell Shield. And a Turn Keeper Aesthetic. All right, last pack. We'll get into another, another contest here. The Shatter Skull Charger, a Sariji Shelter, Skyclay Plunder, and a Territorial Sidecat. We've seen that cat a lot. All right, nice. Now it's time for question number five, Daniel. Question number five. This is going to be for the Blame Game Precon. Shane, which playmat does that one come with? I don't Imperial have Imperial Seal. A very cool Commander Masters Imperial Seal reprint playmat. And the question for this one is aside from southern sorcery who is your favorite content creator this could be youtubers twitch streamers cosplay just anybody who makes content about magic the gathering who is your favorite outside of us because we're obviously your real favorite absolutely yeah um for me you know truthfully i think alpha investments kind of got me into watching magic videos you know rudy just the concept of watching box breaks like was odd to me but then i started watching it and i was like man it's really fun to watch people open yeah. stuff so know? satisfying yeah yeah it's very live, fun live vicariously through them plus he's got a lot absolutely of sound, sound advice his collection is always fun sure because i wouldn't know anybody off the top of my head who probably has a better collection of magic cards than rudy if, if he's got a vault for goodness sake of just like yeah for sure yeah so i would say like probably like alpha investment but there's others uh bad boy gaming joy moss he's hilarious he's the guy that chops up a lot of cards with axes which is right you know like <laughs> <laughs> Almost like panic inducing when he chops something. Yes. <laughs> Uh, like no yeah mtg nor shout out to them <laughs> they're they're kind of the the inspiration behind my channel uh when i when i saw them they were a smaller channel i saw their growth that's when i was like i think i can you know i, I think i can get in this space you know reach out to you that's when we started yeah. kind of getting into this sure. so those those are some some of some of my favorites and then obviously meeting some of the content creators not so much Definitely. box breaks but the content creators like trying casually uh reversal wizard you know just some of the guys yeah Kuro. Yeah, Kuro. yeah yeah those are some th yeah, having personal relationships with those guys, it's it's yeah, it's it's, it's really fun. Yeah, uh, chaotic, chaotic commander. Chaotic. I have only been playing Magic around a year, and so Shane gave me a precon after I played with him one weekend, and then I went home and just deep dove into YouTube and to learn how to play and you know what the hell haste meant in the context of not just the normal English language Webster's dictionary definition, all of those kinds of keywords and things. The first first channel I really spent a lot of time with was nitpicking nerds they do a ton of stuff they put out daily content they had a lot of pre-con reviews set reviews all that kind of stuff so 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 much content so uh shout out to joe and bz and then joe has since started his own channel nitpicking nerds is still going strong and then outside of that i would say i spent some time with maybe like command zone they have a lot of great content there and they break it down in crazy amounts of detail hour and a half two hour long videos i don't necessarily <laughs> watch the entire video but but it is there for you in sometimes excruciating detail, which is honestly perfect because everyone who plays Magic knows how insanely complex it is, and someone's got to do it. Yeah, yeah they've, they've, they've got the production to, like, you know... Even Definitely. Though, even though the videos are extremely long, like, they make them... Super fun. engaging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and, and you then, have to. Yeah, and then, then, of course, you know... To, uh, Prof's great. Tolarian Community College, yeah. Um, yeah. Just getting to play with him. Absolutely yeah, that was blast. super cool. Yeah, got to play with him at, a, at an SCG con. So yeah, yeah, just let us know. There's so many out there in this community. So, so many, too, so, too many to yeah, too many. It's just so tight that it's like you know it, it, it's hard to pick just one. So very cool, very fun, and thank you to everyone who has included us as noobs in uh, accepting us into this community. Thank you guys yes. so much. Thank you so much. Oh, boom, baby! Look at this right here. A little Agadim's awakening. Ooh. 
Man, that's oh, what yeah. happens when we start talking about all these nice uh, channels. I know. Yeah, you got to sleeve that up. That's one of the more expensive cards in the entire set. Let's go. I was getting ready to make a comment about how we haven't pulled a ton of Mythics, and there it was. There it was. Agony's Awakening is a great card. Yep. Boom. Man, that's what I'm talking about. That's, that's what gets me going, baby. Yeah. I feel, a, I feel the energy now for turning back to me. I got the kitty cat <laughs> token ready to go. A lot of mercy. We got a foil tormenting voice. Back to back mythics. We got the Ashaya Soul of the Wild. Let's go. Power and toughness each equal to the number of lands you control. Non token creatures you control are forest lands in addition to their other types. That's great because it just makes more and more lands, which makes Aisha, yeah. Ashaya, I should say, more and more powerful. Nice. She's going to get huge. Yes, that is the theme. Can we go for three mythics back to back to back? <laughs> that be pretty wild i feel it i feel it i feel it in my fingers i feel it in my bones oh no we can't but you know what the, ah, the scoot swarm's so a good consolation prize oh yeah it is <laughs> i'll take that <laughs> scooty scoot scoot everyone knows the scoot swarm yeah scoot swarm is one of the uh, best, best landfall cards in the game yeah uh, for sure whatever land there's a battlefield under your control create a one one green set creature token doesn't sound harmful at all except if you control six or more lands Instead, you get to create a token copy of the Scoot Swarm instead. And that oh, just gets man. nuts because you get Scoots and Scoots and Scoots, and they trigger all the other Scoots, and before you know it, you've got 800, oh my gosh. 800,000 yes. Scoots. That's so ridiculous. If you play Magic long enough, you will die to a army you'll of see Scoot it. Swarms. You, yes. You'll get it. <laughs> and our utility knife is back. Hooray! Hey! I think we've got a playset of those <laughs> also now. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Probably more. So probably, probably two playsets. Yeah, probably like eight of those. Yeah, we've got, yeah. We've got a bunch of those now. we got one more pack here, and we've got our fifth question coming up we've got a construct an island a foil cleansing wildfire and then our foil is the inscription of insight which is the blue sorcery with kicker and then we've got uh do we have anything good hidden back here no we don't but we do have another question for you we have question number six number actually. six number six. close it getting ready to close it out yep. we got one more after this and that's for this whole stack which we just opened up a ton of good stuff for so Stay tuned. All right, number six. Uh, this is for our last commander kit. This is our fourth kit we're giving away. This is for the most popular deck, I think, that came out of the Murders of Karloff. Yeah. Yes, Deep. it is. It's my favorite name, at least, how they named it. I love it. Deep Clue C. That, kudos to the magic. Love a good pun. Yes, good definitely. Pun, so kudos to the, whoever named that. So Deep Clue C precon. This comes with an awesome Damnation play mat. So one of the more iconic cards in the game. Uh, this is going to have another Nerd Gear command zone kit for your commander and the dice and the life tracker. Obviously, we're going to have more of the uh, proxy forge is tokens and cards yep. to the deck more sleeves another deck box another sticker a t-shirt again you know just, just i know we've said it a the lot grand but, yeah the grand package the grand package we wanted to come up with a really cool prize in mind that someone that either has never played magic or they just you know wanted to expand their collection could sit down have everything not need a single thing added to it and it's just go so that's yep just be ready to rock and roll yep. and a lot of people that have interacted as we've been listing these prizes leading up to this have said man i really hope i can win this i i really want my friend so-and-so to play he's strapped for cash or you know just hasn't been able to get this would be the best thing i would love to win this and then i will turn around and give it to the next person so we love to see that love that you guys are super passionate about magic as we are and that you guys want to take something that we're doing take that another step so that's really cool so hopefully we'll see some feedback there once the prizes are announced that uh, it's it's we just want to bless somebody with this stuff so I really do um i was bragging on our channel the other day just saying like look you know we're trying to give away stuff that no other channel has done before i've never seen anyone give away stuff like this so Little 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 pat on our own back of coming up with these these <laughs> ideas, um, sure. Because we love this community and we're always happy, you know, to see someone come in and just hit the ground running. Whether they're new or they're kind of stalled out, hadn't had a time to actually build a new deck or resources to. So yeah, we're we're happy to do this, and as we grow, we get to do it more. So thanks for yep. you know, it's because of all the subscrib subscribers, all of you guys coming in uh, that we're able to do stuff like this. So we really appreciate absolutely it. yeah. But without further ado, the question for this last kit is: Who is your favorite planeswalker? Now this can be for playability or just lore, the story itself. Daniel, you were telling me your favorite was a Johnny. Uh yeah. Really, truthfully, I don't know nearly as 
much about the lore. He just seems really freaking cool. Yeah. He is one of the first planeswalkers I had. You gave me the Coven Counters, which is, I believe, Selesnia, green, white, and it is a plus one, plus one counters deck. And so as I was upgrading it, several of the recommendations were for a Johnny. I didn't even know how planeswalkers worked or what they like. How does this how does this work? What's this minus two? What's this plus? Plus and minus what? I didn't understand how they worked. I had to figure out what was going on. But all that said. I then played them in the deck and several of them were very fun, especially when I had a doubling season out. They had Johnny that gains you a hundred life, I think, uh, when you ult it. So like I was able to do that immediately. Like, well, I'll just gain a hundred life. So that's pretty cool since it came in with twice the amount. Never a bad thing. Yeah. Nah, it'll be fine. Yeah, my, my life's a resource. Yeah, my favorite for actually for both probably uh, is Gideon Jura. Um, mm. I love Gideon's story. You know, I'm a big Captain America fan, so like he's almost like the Captain America of the Magic World. Dude's just he's just a hero. He's a friend first. He, you know, obviously like uh, spoiler alert if you've not read the lore, but it's it's, it's been happened years ago. He died sacrificing himself to save Liliana. So just 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 the ultimate homie. You know, and that's that's yep. that's how I live my life. The ultimate friends. I don't know if I would sacrifice myself <laughs> necessarily for somebody, but. You know, maybe maybe if the, the right person came along, I would maybe. Give, up, give up my spark, you know, for, for them. Oh, nice. But yeah, Gideon Jura for me. So I'm interested to hear all the answers because now there's a ton of planeswalkers to choose from. Back, back yeah, when so I first, many. First, when I came back to the game, there was like, there was just the original. There was a Johnny, Gideon, Jace, Soren, Garrick, probably missing a few, but that's really about it. Now sure. There's, you yeah. Know, there's, there's so many. So really just interested to hear of... some of the answers Wait. on this one. I wonder if anyone's favorite is going to be uh, Grist, the Hunger Tide, the one that's just above. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I love like, bugs. I love bugs, man, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Bug travel. Yeah, big travel. Man. I've good. seen that deck. It's cool, yeah. yeah. It really is, yeah. Hey, there's another mythic. Uh, this is uh, Tazri, the Beacon of Unity. She is a five-color deck. Um, shout out to Tazri. Uh, Tabletop Jocks, uh, they've been doing a really cool format for uh, Black History Month, which, you know, February is obviously Black History Month. They've been uh, spotlighting a lot of cool characters. Tazri is one of them. Um, so it's cool to see this. Shout out to Table Talk Drugs. So that's another channel you can check out on Instagram. Uh, they do a lot of play. I'm sure you've seen them. Um, they're, they're super popular. They yeah. pull in like, uh, NFL players like Cassius Marsh and uh, some other guys. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Super, super popular channel. Yeah, yeah very They cool. actually spotlighted her the other day, so it's really kind of cool to see it now in person. And it's a mythic, so yeah, yeah you can build your, uh, your party. Got another one. So Tangled Flow. Flora Hedron, that's the Hedron element. It kind of looks like a turtle, but then it's like just living flowers. Kind of does. Yeah. Hey, there's the crab again, the dancing crab. Let's go. <laughs> oh, man. Nice. There's a Wayward Guide Beast and then another Malakar Rebirth. Yeah, so we're hitting a lot of the good uh, uncommons here in this set. Broken yeah. Wings, there's our knife. Definitely have two play sets of that knife now if you ever yep. want to play it. I don't even know. What's the it knife do? I have to know. Every pack. I mean, we just have to pack. read it. Yeah, yeah literally. So it is one, and then uh, it's an artifact. Whenever utility knife enters the battlefield, attach it to target creature control, so you automatically get to attach it. And then a quick creature gets plus one, plus one, so. <laughs> I mean, you know. Okay. Yeah, why not? It's there. Yeah, but it, it's very funny. The flavor text. <laughs> Hold on a second. I have just the thing. And then look at this thing. It's just like, it, <laughs> oh. it's every little gadget. You can <laughs> of course you do. Yeah. Of course exactly. you have just the thing. Exactly. We'll put those here. All right, last pack, and then the box topper, and then we will have our final question of the day. Box has been pretty good. A lot of good hits. It has there. been. I'm surprised yeah. we haven't hit a Planeswalker yet, so maybe this pack has the Planeswalker. Mm. We shall see. Did I call it? Nope, I didn't, but another Pathway, so that's even better, actually, because most of the Planeswalkers in this set aren't worth a lot, yep. but the Pathways definitely are, so nice hit. Definitely. This is the Clearwater yep. Pathway. This is the blue-black one. This, I think, is the most yeah. expensive Pathway that you can hit, so our little guy here is riding on a fish thing, you know? <laughs> and then on this on one, he is, or she, I can't really tell. Looks like they're almost, like, flying. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I can't tell. Yeah, I can't tell either. But yeah, there's the little Where's Waldo? Essentially, the mini game you can play yep. when you're opening up this. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty fun. Yeah, Magic does some pretty cool stuff. They they do. They they really a, do. A, a yeah. nod of the cap there. Yeah, a little. Yeah, exactly. Ah. Yeah. So here comes the box topper. Everyone's favorite time is the box topper. Hoping for a fetch land uh, or a cavern of souls. Ooh. Or an ancient it's tomb, I think, is another one you can hit. So, man, any sets that have good lands, just hold, I mean, they're just fun to open. They really are. This is fun. I'm excited right now. My heart rate's going up. I just <laughs> love the. It's just the, the thrill of the chase. All right, drum roll, please. Ba -da -ba -da -da -ba -ba. 
Hey, a copper line gorge. Not exactly what we were looking for. This one's not super expensive, uh, but copper line hey. gorge is a gruel card. We were talking about gruel, so we got gruel. Mm -hmm. uh, enters the battlefield tap unless you control two or few fewer other lands, and it taps for a red and a green, of course. And it's got the beautiful art. On yeah, it. very cool art. Yeah. Yes. So we'll slide that into a little perfect fit for you. So whoever wins this, that is your box top for copper line gorge. Sorry, it wasn't a better hit, but still an expedition land. That's so still, yeah, still pretty good. Plus, yeah. Look, you got Tazri, Ashaya, five Mythics, and then I think three Pathways. Three Pathways, yeah. Yep. And one of them was a full art pathway, and then the full art foil Lotus Cobra. Uh -huh. Got a Scoot Swarm, yeah. Valakut Exploration. Uh, the Agadim's Awakening is probably the most expensive card that we hit today. Yeah, I think it's like 15, 16 bucks, yeah, something so, along those lines. Yeah, and the best thing about all of it is it's absolutely free. We're going to ship it to you for free. So. Yep. Yeah, who cares yeah. about the expected value of the box? All this is going to somebody. <laughs> yeah, who so, cares? Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, Daniel, let's uh, hit him up with the last question here. Let's see who the winner's going to be. All right. The last question, of course, is taking home this whole box, and it is going to be, what is the Holy Grail card of your collection? This can be a card you have, a card you lust for, a card you dream about. Just let us know what card that is and why. I think I know myself and shane both share a uh a holy grail card which is gaia's cradle and i just got my first one so i'm super excited to have that in my collection i traded about uh 60 some odd cards out of uh, my binder to get it but you know what they were in my binder and not in any of my decks so well worth it. yeah absolutely yeah cradle cradle definitely for me i am i'm one dual land away now from having all 10 duels nice so that in itself, having all 10 was a major goal yeah. I set out uh, yep. years ago. It's, it's taken me years just for saving up and trading, sure. you know, just because they're expensive. They're not cheap. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they and, just keep getting pricier. I know. Um, reserve list stuff is, you know, it is what it is. You know, some people love it, some people hate it, but those are just really special to me. That was like holy grail when I was young and broke playing Magic. Mm -hmm. And just thought I'd never even own one. Now I've got nine of the ten. Just need that underground underground sea, and I'll be done. Sadly, is super expensive. But <laughs> <laughs> is that the most expensive one? I think it is, right? That's yeah. the most expensive one. Yeah, it totally is. Yeah, yeah, so, that, that's like uh, like five six hundred bucks, I think. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. expensive. Yeah, so yeah. Oh, oh, almost the same price as a cradle. So it, it hurts. It is. Bit. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. That, that yeah. but yeah, the me. But yeah, well, let us know what uh, what's your Holy Grail in your collection currently, or maybe the card you're looking for that you can say that's that's the card that I've always wanted. But that's the end of our video. Um, we're, we're right at an hour. I'm looking at the timer right now. We're at 58 minutes. So Dang. This is a longer video. Yeah, we wanted to take the time just to obviously thank everybody. Thank you again to uh, Nerd Gear, to Trying Casually, Proxy Forge, Cardboard Shuffle. I want to be a big shout out to my local LGS uh, Showcase Games. Uh, this That's actually where I got this box from. Uh, a while back, a long time ago, actually when the set first came out, I've just been sitting on it, so happy to give it away. She's been sitting collecting dust. It's cool to crack it open, see what we had in store. So shout out to Showcase Games, always hooking me up. A lot of the giveaways I've done in the past have come from Showcase, so if you're ever in the area, Cartersville, Georgia, please come check him out. Case is a one-of-a-kind dude. Uh, Mark, uh, if you're ever up in the area at Kingsport, Tennessee, please go to Cardboard Shuffle, another one-of-a-kind dude. Takes takes one-of-a-kind type people, I think, to run uh, local game yeah, stores. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you have to care. You have to be passionate. You have to be invested in the games themselves you can't just be in it for the money and then lastly i just want to thank you the the viewer if you're watching yes, this right now 100 um, thank you thank you yeah i can't believe we're at a thousand it was so hard for us to hit 100 Wild. i felt like it was gonna take us for every 100 so a thousand seemed like it was unrealistic <laughs> it's just mo monumental it is, yeah. no way and now we're here and so just thank you really uh, from the bottom of my heart i truly do thank you and just keep watching keep letting us know what we're doing right what we're doing wrong as we grow we love to to sculpt the channel into what you as the viewer want to watch and what the community what we can do for the community so we, we, yep. we listen to all the feedback i promise you yeah yeah thousand subscribers follow like subscribe yeah like follow subscribe hit that button check us out on patreon if you want to get some of the box breaks we do crazy good deals we have a seven dollar patreon super cheap I, I promise you you're gonna get insane good deals some of the packs we're opening we also have a two dollar uh membership which is just hey if you want to help the channel out say you know, these guys ship a lot of stuff it really does yep. help because shipping's not cheap either we take care it of ain't. all of it so anything we send out it's all on us i promise like that we want someone to win and not have to yep. pay a, a, a dime so like subscribe instagram twitter TikTok. We're, all we're yeah, thousand subscribers, baby. Yeah, crazy. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.